How you guys doing? If you are new to the channel, my name is Dave B. I sell Chevrolets at Schumacher Chevrolet in Livingston, New Jersey. And today we're gonna do a desk tour. You know, I spend a lot of my life here in this desk, you know, sometimes 45, 50 hours a week. And there's certain things that I do and that you should do as a salesperson to make the experience better for your client and to be better prepared for your client no matter what happens. First things first, make sure your desk is clean. Make sure there's no stains on the chairs, they're not covered in dust. You know, presentation is everything. So you wanna make sure the desk is free and clear of nonsense, it's clean, and it's ready and comfortable for someone to come down and sit in, you know, to discuss a car deal. Now, when my customer's sitting on this side of the desk, there's one thing I wanna make sure they can definitely see right in front of them, and that's my business cards. You know, so you, you wanna make sure your business cards are here, they're readily available, someone can grab one. Um, I have this here, I also have this little business card holder which holds these cards I made which just show that I have a YouTube channel, Dave B Sells Chevy. Um, you know, I don't actively hand these out, although I should, but people do notice, they see the logo, they question it, and it just brings up a conversation of what I actually do on the side of selling cars, which is creating a YouTube channel. You may also notice I have pens in here, which is funny because I never had pens in there. I started putting pens in there, and now constantly customers just reach grab it when they have to jot down notes or, or they're writing down anything, uh, you know, that they want about numbers or whatever it may be. So have some pens readily available for your client. Next, and this is huge. You want to have the ability for your customer to charge a phone. Uh, you know, I have this, I bought it. Uh, it's basically a power strip. It's got two USB. It's got all your outlets. It's right there ready for a customer. And you want that there so they can keep their device charged just in case they have to email or, you know, we live by our phones these days. Uh, second to that, if you have a customer with children and they're playing games on that phone or they have an iPad or something to keep them occupied, uh, this way you can discuss the deal with their parents. To have charging at your desk is, is a must have. You gotta keep those devices charged. You also wanna make sure you have the proper cords for different devices. So your main three obviously are your iPhone or Apple connector, your USB, like the old style micro USB, and then you have the USB-C. So you wanna make sure you have these on hand this way if your customer doesn't have a cord, you can provide them with the cord. This is also very necessary because in Chevrolet vehicles we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Demonstrating that feature, you wanna make sure you have a cord just in case your client does not have one with them. Uh, it's an impressive uh, feature. You plug the phone in and their phone is on the screen basically for you know Google Maps, Waze, Pandora, Spotify, music apps, all sorts of stuff like that. So get yourself cords for all the devices of, the, uh, of today. Probably the most important thing to have on your desk is a computer. Uh, you know, we're lucky enough and fortunate enough that the dealership provides computers for all of us to have on our desks. It works with our CRM system. Uh, we can use it for basically everything we need. You know, a customer comes in with a trade value and they say, uh, well, Kelly Blue Book said this or Kelly Blue Book said that. You can hop on the computer, go run a Kelly Blue Book, build it with them, have that interaction with the client that's gonna show transparency and show that you're willing to see exactly what they saw online and work out a deal, you know? so. A computer on your desk is a must have. Uh, you know, if you don't have computers on your desk, you better get yourself a laptop or something. Uh, it definitely comes in handy for obvious reasons. As we move to the left of my computer here, you'll see I do have underneath a speaker. This is a five below, $5 item. It plugs into an aux cable. This way, if I need audio, I have a one desk accessory here, which says I'd rather be wheeling. It's a clock, it's the temperature, it's the date. It's a timer and it's also a pen. My wife bought me that. Uh, it was when I had a Jeep Wrangler and we used to go uh, off-roading in some parks out in Pennsylvania and stuff. And just to remind me that while I'm at work, I'd rather be wheeling. Next, we got our phone, obviously for communications, calling, messages, all that sort of stuff. I do also use my cell phone. We use our cell phone for text and in our CRM system, we could also text our clients, uh, which keeps track of all the conversations, which is actually the best way to do it. Uh, we have a blue line flag to back the boys and girls in blue. Got a whole bunch of pens, stapler, tape, little box, post-it notes, which are good to have on hand in case you take a phone call, you can jot down a message, a whole bunch more pens. As a salesperson, you can never have enough pens uh, because they constantly disappear and also reappear. Some of these pens in here, I don't even know how I got, they just ended up in there. Last thing I have here is an umbrella. Extremely important. This may not be important for you. Like I'll run back and forth a lot of times without an umbrella getting cars. You're gonna get a little wet, whatever, no big deal. But to be able to offer your client an umbrella to walk out or to walk them out to their car with an umbrella, it just shows that extra little effort that you're putting in to help them and uh, you know, it's just a courtesy. It's something that you should do. Um, what I recommend is never let anybody borrow it. People ask, hey, let me get your umbrella. The problem is if they take your umbrella, they're out with a customer in it and then you need an umbrella, you don't have it. Uh, that's also a reason why I installed this desk with a lock. 
because it locks up anything I personally bought that could help me in a situation. Because you'd be surprised how many salespeople will just rummage through your desk looking for things that they need. Um, in this drawer that I recently installed in one of my videos, we got a bunch of things. Uh, these little Easy Pass things. I don't know if you have Easy Pass, but when you put this on the window, you can basically never get these back off. And if you do, they barely stick. You can buy this stuff in a roll in Home Depot. I think it was like seven bucks or something like that. And uh, you know, you get like three feet of the stuff, you cut it into little sections and you'd be surprised how this helps people out, uh, you know, with easy pass. I keep a ruler, you know, just in case a customer wants to measure something, you know, as far as uh, cargo space or, or, you know, something can fit in a vehicle. Of course you have your screwdriver, vice grips, very important. And uh, this is constantly looked for by my fellow salespeople because a lot of times you get rusty bolts uh, for plate frames that you can't get off. And this is what helps. Um, again, I keep it locked up. I don't want them to disappear. You know, it's very easy for someone to just grab them and then forget them and leave them somewhere. Uh, I also have miscellaneous tools here. This is all different bits, screwdrivers, flatheads, Torx bits, things like that. Again, stuff sometimes that you need. Gonna have a calculator. You always need a calculator to calculate numbers. I also have my own power screwdriver. Uh, you know, I bought this when our other two were missing. We basically have two. We keep them right along the side of the desk there at the reception desk because, uh, you know, we all share them. Well, people leave them in cars, people, you know, lose them, whatever the case may be. And for a while we didn't have one and I got tired of using the manual screwdriver. So I said, you know what, let me go buy my own. Uh, I keep it locked up. You know, listen, this way it's locked. It's there when I need it. And I don't have to worry about looking for one when the time comes. I highly recommend salespeople go out and buy themselves some tools. You know, this entire desk between vice grips, a screwdriver and a power screwdriver costs maybe 35 bucks, uh, you know, and you have it at your disposal when you need it. I also have a box of toothpicks, you know, just in case I eat lunch, I'll make sure I have nothing in my teeth. Pack of gum, make sure I have fresh breath. And again, uh, this all goes in here, it gets locked. I keep the key on me and uh, I have all that stuff there when I need it. If we move over to the left, I got three drawers here. Bottom drawer is all supplies, okay? So it's privacy forms, credit apps, uh, payoff sheets, parts orders, in case we have to order any kind of parts or accessories lease return forms, just all your basic paperwork. Um, I also keep in here a static guard, which a customer actually gave me this. It came in handy a couple times. Uh, to keep yourself a couple of rags, some Windex, you know, just the basics, nothing really special in there. Middle drawer, and again, these are lockable. Middle drawers can go in my customer info that I keep. Uh, the majority of everything we have is in our system. Uh, so, you know, we don't have a lot of paper laying around, but if I am working a couple deals and they haven't closed yet and I have uh, any kind of customer uh, addresses and phone numbers and things like that written on papers, it all gets locked away uh, nice and secure. And then top drawer here, uh, just again, more supplies. So if you look here, roll of tape, staples, key rings, paper clips, screws, a bunch of uh, guardian angels. These are, you end up finding in cars and trades and you kind of forget who they were and they kind of stack up. Um, I actually have the lease return card. I used this in a previous video that talked about uh, damage on a lease return. I keep this handy just in case anybody asks. I can kind of show them like this is the stuff that's allowed as far as damage when you return a car. Uh, quarters, I keep some change in here. Reason being, uh, we do have a coffee machine. We have water. They usually have some snacks out, but if that stuff runs out, we do have a vending machine, uh, a couple of vending machines in the service department. So a lot of times a customer will ask, you know, hey, do you have anything like a bag of chips or something like that? At that point, I just volunteer. Listen, what do you want? Let's go to the machine. I'll bring a couple quarters. Again, for the buck that it costs, it just shows the client you're willing to put a little effort in and go above and beyond for. Uh, we got some tags we need for used cars, you know, things like that, key tags, stock tags, you know, just the basics that we use. And uh, that's pretty much it. My uh, default aggressive sticker that I see every time I open my drawer, you know, because in this business, you have to be aggressive. You know, there's seven other salespeople here that are trying to make a living as well. So when a customer walks through that front door, you know, you can either sit back and, and not take the customer or you can get out in front of them and, and try to sell that car, you know, and try to get in front of that customer. So it's a numbers game like anything else. Uh, you know, you got to get in front of people. That's pretty much it. That's the desk tour. Again, this is where I spend the, so much of my life. I truly enjoy the job. I enjoy, uh, you know, providing customers with a good experience buying a car, trying to reverse the stereotypes of buying a car. Um, you know, it, it's just fun. It's a fun job. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, you know, you know what to do. Appreciate you watching guys. Have a great day.